I, I don't want to be in your position. I mean, I understand the crust of your argument. That sounds, you know, I mean, it, but I mean, you got to feed your family. You got to take care of your family. I mean, that's number one. Yeah. But you're walking, and I, I don't envy you because you're walking this tightrope. You know, you are. You know, you're working for people that are out there to basically get people hooked on drugs. Yeah, pretty you know. much. It's like, like I said, we kind of evolved into that area of our business, and. Uh, yeah, I think how well you've been doing it for a long time, haven't you? About 18 years. Yeah. yeah. I, I, what I see is, and this is a trend in almost anything, any organization or anything, that uh, it starts out with good intention. Mm -hmm. But then... That's why I'm, I'm very clear, you know. Well, I, I really appreciate your... your viewpoint and your honesty on where you know your perspective, you know what the hell's going on. Well, so that's really good. My man. friend, I'm going to tell you, I had a chance at one point. I, we have a clinical sleep lab. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the highest accreditation in sleep medicine that my wife and I could have. And one of, uh, there was an ENT in our, in our area, went to the same synagogue, knew the same people. I was like, Jeff, we need to get together and you refer to me and I refer back to you. That's how we, that's how this business works. And I, don't, I mean legitimately refer people that need what we do. I wasn't trying to cook books. And he was, and we said, you know, we can show you how you, if you refer to us, how you legally can get paid for your referral to us through the insurance companies. And he looked at us and said, so you can build 250, 300 bucks. Just give me a hundred dollars under the table for each one. I'm like, no, we can go to jail for that. Yeah. I don't care to do that. Yeah. And so we stood on our principle. We were forced out of business, so to speak. And the person he teamed up with, who handed the hundred dollars under the table, sold their company for like twelve million bucks. And so I looked. I told my wife, I said, you know what? Who says crime doesn't pay? <laughs> you know? Well, no, indeed. And I think that's where, where this whole election basically was the, the root, roots of it were the fact that the anger that the people felt by being, you know, we've seen corruption on right. all levels. Right, that's right. And, you know, we understand that life isn't perfect. There'll be a certain level of corruption all the time. Mm -hmm. But you try to put a lid on it, and you don't, it shouldn't be the norm. Corruption shouldn't be the norm, right. it should be the exception. Now, exactly. being honest is the exception. <laughs> and you get punished for that. Yes. It's like I, it cracks me up, I mean, Obama. Oh. I know, I know. I, just, I know. The, the sound of his name is like nails I, on a chalkboard. I know. No. But the, uh, I'm looking at this. If we can make this the next eight, nine days, ten days, and get Trump in. And I'm not so positive that we're going to come off on the Oh, indeed. No, believe me. That would be, what we have going on here, understand that this is, under Obama, more whistleblowers and journalists have been prosecuted under the 1917 Espionage Act than all other presidents. The whistleblowers that are going to come out of the woodwork on January 20th are going to blow the lid off of everything. Thing. I've told her life as we know it has changed. Oh yeah. Um, and I'm not convinced that all this uh, envelope pushing that we're doing with Putin, yeah. it would not surprise me because he, uh, Obama already wants to be the, the secretary. I apologize. We got to head back. I know we'll, we're going to be back around here because I know. He yeah, can I stay here. Yeah. My friend, I'm, my name's Mako. Mako. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uh, All right. Okay. Yeah. Let me get. Let me get, 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 get out of jail. Before. Hey, you know what? I'll take that. They come in handy later. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, let's burn these bitches. We don't want her. Well, actually, out of jail. Yeah, with that, you, you'll never use it because you got to identify yourself as Hillary Clinton, uh, and you have way too no. much class. To do that. Uh, you know what? So, what you can do is give it to a liberal friend. Uh, there, you know. One of the cupcakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They call it Bud Hurt Special Snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, but I can go in the back of that and see my YouTube channel too. Oh, okay. oh, cool. Yeah, I, cool. I interview a lot of because I never know who I'm going to run into. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, well, man, it was a pleasure yeah. to chat with you yeah. for a minute. And I promise you, if you're out here the next time I pass through here, I will stop right. talking to you. As long as the weather's good, I'll be out here. All right. Take care. Keep up the faith, man. <laughs>